Good day, everybody. So I wanted to do a piece on the primary military threats to the United States. Um, the mainstream media would seem to suggest that Russia uh, is the primary threat to the United States. And that stems from the uh, Russian involvement in seizing control of the Crimean Peninsula from the Ukraine uh, back in 2014 and the uh, uh, intrusions into the, the Donbass region, region to support um, ethnic Russians um, residing in this region. The threat from Russia from a military capacity um, is uh, simply not true. Uh, once the Soviet Union collapsed, um, even prior to the collapse of the Soviet Union, there was a significant technology gap. And then once the Soviet Union actually fell, the production capacity of the what is now the Russian Federation also collapsed. So their ability to produce large amounts of technologically inferior fighter aircraft was also reduced, significantly reduced. So where is the uh, the real threat to the United States? Well, it's right here, China. Um, first, you're looking at a nation state that has in excess of one billion three hundred million people. Again, one billion. 300 million people with a monolithic production capacity. The uh, biggest threats that we see from China are multifaceted in terms of, of military capacity. Um, they're producing uh, the J-20 uh, fighter bomber, which is based on uh, technology stolen from the United States from the F-35 program. You're also seeing the Chinese, they are producing other fourth generation uh, fighter aircraft such as the J-16, the J-10, um, the uh, J-11, J-11B, and so forth. Um, biggest issue is their ballistic missile capacity, um, just not in terms of firing a large ballistic missile to the mainland United States carrying a nuclear warhead. While that is not good, um, they also have the ability to launch uh, conventional ballistic missiles which may be able to hit moving targets in the ocean, o open ocean. Uh, and then obviously these ballistic missiles uh, with a conventional warhead could hit targets um, such as airfields, air bases, military infrastructure, command and control. But where, where we really see a concern um, from the viewpoint of the United States is the uh, manufacturing of naval vessels, large naval warships. Um, they've built two aircraft carriers. Another, a third is is under construction, and possibly a fourth. Um, they are building uh, guided missile destroyers comparable with our Aegis platform, 
they have built or are building um, around 25 uh, of the, the, the uh, Type 52 uh, Ds. Again, those are comparable to the Aegis platform. And when you look at these, these vessels, you have to count their vertical launch capability, their vertical launch missile capability, which with the Type 52D um, is about 60 plus vertical launch systems. However, they're building a new 13,000 ton vessel, which is more in lines of a, a cruiser. Um, just a, maybe a more advanced version of the uh, Ticonderoga in terms of the amount of missile cells it can operate. So they're building eight of those, and each one of those of those Type 55 vessels can carry upwards to 100, 112 vertical launch systems. So if there's eight vessels, that means they can fire over 800 vertical launch cells, which could be air defense systems, that have a range in excess of 100 nautical miles um, or cruise missile systems which would have a range uh, of upwards to a thousand miles or more but those um, vessels those type 55s are the big worry right now um, because of the amount of vessels that they're able to build um, and again, right now, it looks like they're they're building basically eight um, as we speak. And then there's a there's a host of other uh, issues as well that we see from from China, um, but that is the biggest military threat to the United States, um, both from a technological viewpoint and a production, a manufacturing capability as well. Another thing I would be uh, remiss for mentioning is the drone capability of China. Uh, China uh, is right there with the United States in terms of the development, deployment, and manufacturing of high technology drones. So a lot of the uh, systems that we saw operating in Azerbaijan and Armenia, uh, the likes of which the Turks were using, that same capability exists within China as well. And probably, well, I'm not going to say probably, they absolutely have more advanced systems um, that have longer range, more stealthier design, and a greater payload capacity as well. And then there's the things that we, when I say we, the public at large, do not know about. Which is probably pretty significant. But I'll do, I'll continue with updates on, on this issue, uh, among others. Um, it's uh, a, uh, a fairly... Uh, uh, compelling time in terms of of threats that exist to the United States that uh, we haven't seen since um, the uh, the Cold War. <laughs>